and singing them. We want you to enjoy listening in. Here we go. I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land, glory land way. I'm in the glory land.
to the back, the fellow with that beautiful K upright bass. Uh, this this gentleman is, uh, um, well, he's first night, first night with the gang. And uh, all of you know that, uh, that, that, that Carl, our bass singer, um, decided to go on in some different directions. And so I've been looking for a, a bass singer and uh, got some nice audition tapes from Scotty back there. And um, so when I sent him the music, you know, it's like 200 songs and uh, it's kind of overwhelming. And I said, if you don't want to start, well, he said, yes, just give me a little bit more time. So he came with us and we've been enjoying getting to know him. Um, and uh, he said, I'll just bring the bass and I can listen and play. and. Uh, we're going to have a great time, but you're going to enjoy his bass playing. We might get him up to sing a little bit here, maybe on the second half. And uh, from the Asheville, North Carolina area, Mr. Scotty Owensby. <laughs> and over on the other side, the other fella. Now, he's he might be new to some of you, but he's been with the gang as long as I have, maybe just not as many years in between. Uh, he and I started out in 1993. We both started out together at the same time. He started playing guitar, and uh, he's from down in Joshua, Texas, and uh, sings some wonderful bass like my Uncle Roy used to do, and uh, probably my favorite guitar player of all time. But uh, y'all make him welcome, Mr. Daryl Morris. <laughs> and our other Texas person. So we got a Joshua, Texas person, and a Groveton, Texas person here. Uh, this young lady has been with the gang for many years, uh, sang with us several years back and went home for a little while and uh, kind of like Roger, I called her up and I said, I gotta have a soprano again and she said, okay. <laughs> so uh, anyway, she came back and she's been with us for what, six years now? A little over five years. But uh, you're gonna love her wonderful Amen. soprano tonight and uh, y'all make her we welcome, Miss Melissa Kemper. <laughs> Back when Uncle Roy passed away in 97, I got to take the group over and uh, be the spokesman for the group as well as play guitar and sing bass. So this is kind of a new thing for me again tonight. I have to get into it a little bit. But I, it's my pleasure to introduce the young lady that's been speaking to you tonight. Her grandmother was the original alto for the Chuck Wagon Gang. Now they said that they did have their first recording in 1936, but they sang a long time before that. Family group out of uh, West Texas. But I'll let Shay tell you a little bit more about that later. But I want to uh, make Shay welcome here tonight. Shay Smith from Hertford, North Carolina. <laughs> Who knows where that is? <laughs> I look at that map, it's a long way over there. It is. It is. Well, we're going to jump in here and sing a couple of uh, more of these old songs. I think you'll remember this one Where the Soul Never Dies. <laughs> Oh, 
or so. Are y'all familiar with the Carter family, Mother Maybell, Sarah and AP? Well, uh, Chuck Wagon Gang, through all of our years, we didn't ever really sing any of their songs, maybe one or two along the way, but we decided they had such a rich heritage of gospel music along with their country music that we would uh, we'd do a tribute record to some of their gospel songs. And uh, we're gonna do a couple of those for you right now. A lot of the songs on this record are very old, some of them 100 plus years old. And I went back and found some really wonderful old ones and uh, I think you're gonna recognize in particular this first one. People seem to remember this from the 1920s called The Meeting in the Air. You have heard of little Moses in the bulrush. You have heard of fear the slaving and his sleep. You have heard the story told of dreaming Joseph and of Jonah.
hear songs like that, the meeting in the air, when our Lord shall come again. You look around you now, the shape the world's in. I don't think that's very far off. I think it's coming mighty quickly, mighty quickly. We always enjoy coming back to Texas because this is where the Chuck Wagon Gang was born. Back in the Depression years, my grandmother and her other brothers, eight brothers and sisters, mom and dad, a whole bunch, they were picking cotton out in West Texas, out in Lubbock. And uh, I've heard stories that just wasn't a real fun way to make a living, especially in Texas picking cotton. Anybody ever picked cotton? Got some cotton pickers in here. All right. Well, Dad Carter decided that he'd rather uh, try to um, find a better way to make a living. So he took his uh, oldest son and daughter, or actually oldest two daughters, and they went into the radio station and uh, got a job doing that. And uh, so they decided that was a lot better than picking cotton. Uh, so they, they came into Fort Worth and wound up on a station, WBAP. Anybody familiar with WBAP? All right. Anybody in here ever cooked with Bewley Mills flour? That's going way back. But that was their sponsor. They were the Carter Quartet until so Bewley Mills came onto the scene and uh, made them the Bewley Mills Chuck Wagon Gang so they could kind of advertise their flower. And that's where the name came from. And it stuck with us all those years. And that was back in 1936, as Daryl referred to. So the gang's been around a long time, but it started right here in Texas. So we, we like to go back and have a little fun with this since the gang started in the radio. We're going to recreate an old 1940s radio show for you. We've got the, the Omni mic, similar to what they might have used. We're going to do some songs that they would have been singing on the radio during those years. And if you ever had old battery-powered radio, it might have sounded like this.
And now, a word from our sponsor. Since 1882, the good folks at Muley Mills have been serving Southwest housewives with premium flour. This means better pies, cakes, and biscuits for your family. And now Beulah's Best is fortified, no, vitaminized, with vitamin B1 and nicotinic acid, among other healthy ingredients. So ladies, you owe it to your family to provide the most nutritious meals possible. So run, don't walk. Go down to your neighborhood grocery store and ask for it by name. Beulah's Best Flour. Remember, Beulah's Best Bakes Better. And now, back to the Chuck Wagon Gang, who will now sing for you, getting ready to leave this world. Here they are. song we just want to 
Thank the Light Crusto boys for lending us their bass player, Cletus. He's doing a fine job back there. Thank you, Cletus. <laughs> Chuck Wagon Gang gets a lot of new songs, and uh, we recorded one about two weeks ago, right around this very microphone. And uh, it was sent to us by a young fellow up in the Ozark Mountains by the name of Albert E. Brumley. Now, we don't know how this song's going to do, but we kind of feel good about it. And uh, we've gotten a lot of requests to sing it again since we previewed it a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to do that song for you right now. And the name of that song is um, I'll Fly Away. <laughs> Some attention to what I have to say for the thought of the day. Women who are heavier tend to live longer than the people who say something about it. Carter family songs for you right now. This is uh, this is the title song off the record called No Depression in Heaven and uh, written back in the Depression days and uh, written by James D. Vaughn, a name that goes along with Southern Gospel history. And um, Mr. Vaughn wrote this song, like I said, in the midst of the Depression and he was witnessing the things going on around him. Um, that at the time probably seemed pretty unbelievable. Uh, people standing in bread lines and orphan children and men full of fear because they didn't know how they were going to provide for their families. And he describes all of this, and then he goes on to compare the Great Depression to the Great Tribulation that God's Word tells us is coming. And he says, if it's this bad now, how much worse is that going to be for people who are caught 
you know, unaware without Christ. And uh, he says it's going to be a storm. It's going to sweep millions away. But he goes on in the very last verse and uh, gives us that wonderful encouragement because the Lord has promised those of us who are his children through Christ that he's going to come back and he's going to take his church away. And he's going to take us to a place where there's no more depression. For fear the hearts of men are failing. These are the latter days we know. For dread depression now is spreading. God's word. Thank you. 
We're going to do one more song and we'll turn it back over to Brother David for a few minutes. We'll rest our feet and come right back up and, and uh, jump back into it. We need some words from Brother Roger down here. How long have you been singing this song? 15 years? It's provisional. mental retention. I got retention somewhere else. We need to find out where that is. Y'all forgive me, don't you? Yes. Thank you. Y'all know how uh, when you're. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to butt in there. Do you, do, do you know you, how you remember certain things that happened? Like if you had a car wreck, you remember where it was that day and if it was raining or not, what the temperature was, and, and something else that happened. You remember really well. I remember exactly when I learned this song. That's how important that song is. To me. <laughs> but it was at the. Well, tell us. It was in Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought you remember. Yeah, you remember. Jackson. <laughs> well, I was trying to relate this to a car wreck. <laughs> But it didn't work. All you, right. must have, you must have hit pretty hard. I hit it. I got hit on the head. <laughs> My trials are full of bigger than any of that is. So here we are. We're thankful to be here tonight for sure. I'm so thankful for all these folks standing up here with me. We, we rehearsed last night for about, what, about 15 hours, I think it was, we sang last night, until <laughs> 11 o'clock, but it was, it was good. So thank y'all for being here, but y'all just keep praying for us. Uh, I always heard if, if the devil's after you, you're doing something right. So I don't, I don't know what that is, but we're just going to trust the Lord to take us through. So all right, let's do when I looked up. And he looked down. I was wandering far from Jesus in the paths of sin and shame. When I looked up, when I looked up and he looked down. He looked down. I had never sought salvation, never trusted in
plant? This one written by Albert E. Brumley as well, The World's Greatest Story. There's a call that rings from the throne in springs. This is going to be good. Yeah. Hey, did I ever tell y'all about my trainer? No. I thought it was a car. A car is going to be a trainer. There's a call that rings from the throne and it springs to all who are astray. Saying, come ye men and your load of sins are burned. That's the wrong key. It's too old. That's my fault. I think it's G. Okay. Totally I my like fault. G. G, 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 G. Okay, I like G. Whenever Melissa and I start off on the same note, I know it's wrong. <laughs> I, I think this is right. Okay. There's a call that rings from the throne, it springs to all who are astray. That's it. Sing, come ye men, and your load of sin, bow at the altar lay. Any do not need for the chain of grief still crushes their desire. Be assured, my Still love them, he will set your fields on fire. 
song for you and I think it'll work out best around this Omni with these acoustic instruments and I'll let you fill us yeah, yeah let's, let's do the instrumental talk to him a little bit there Scotty I can hear that you can talk Real hillbilly now. <laughs> I am in. I 
I am in the mountains of North Carolina. I mean, I'm way up in the mountains. <laughs> I tell you what, I appreciate the opportunity to get to sing with these fine folks. I'd never met anybody till yesterday, till about 12 o'clock. I'd only talked to Shay maybe three or four times on the phone. But I tell you what, I've been praying hard about it. And I knew there's a board was working things out. Because everything is just kept falling into place. I said, that's God. Uh, but I am thankful for the opportunity to get to sing with these folks. They're good people, folks. I can tell you that. I'm going to pick one for you. You might recognize it. see him and we got to be friends in the Squire Parson. Oh. And so uh, I actually I actually know Squire. But uh, he's a uh, he's a pretty good old fella. And we're gonna try our best at uh, at you land. I'm kind of
Tonight, any old time country music fans? Yeah. All right, you know who the Carter family is, you know who Roy Acuff is. We were uh, in Texas several, several years ago, and uh, somebody asked for this song, and nobody knew it but Roger. And he happened to be with us. He said, Yeah, I can sing it, and it's become a tradition. When Roger's with us, he's got to do the great speckled bird. This one's for Jay and somebody else out there asked for it. This gentleman right here, okay. Y'all are com competition for this song. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Is it? What a beautiful thought I am thinking concerning that great speckled bird.
the folks in the rooms on each side of us thought about us playing at 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> they didn't say anything. But these guys, were they just did a tremendous job, and I wanted to do more for them.
We've enjoyed being here with all of you a lot tonight. Thank you for being here. We got one more song we're going to do for you. Um, thank you for letting us just kind of be ourselves as we're kind of beginning to learn how to sing together. Uh, so we had a lot of fun, and uh, y'all y'all let us do that. So thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed it. But I stopped by the table out in the lobby. If you uh, if there's a CD you're looking for, we have a few. Uh, like I said, all that stuff walked away. So, but we've got a little bit back there. We've got the new Carter family CD. We've got that one for sure, and uh, a few more from the uh, I think the '60s with Rose and Ann on it. So we might have something you're, that you're looking for. Stop by and. Uh, Say hi to us as you leave. And uh, we'll do this last song. Um, 1948, I believe this one was recorded. Looking for a city.